Now for the empty tomb legend. Professor Craig adduces, Paul, uh, adduces Paul's testimony for the, in the 1 Corinthians 15 formula that Jesus was buried as evidence for the empty tomb. But reciting such a liturgical formula no more implies knowledge of an empty tomb than singing John Brown's body lies a moldering in the grave implies knowledge of where John Brown is buried. Professor Craig also argues that had the stories of the empty tomb been, been fictitious, the prejudices of the day would have dictated that they be discovered, that the accounts indicated that the discoverers of the empty tomb were men rather than women. But the gospel accounts say that the disciples fled into hiding with Jesus' arrest, leaving only the women to care for the body. Besides, the washing, wrapping, and anointing of bodies was women's work in those days. Therefore, it is utterly unsurprising that, the fictional account, that a fictional account would depict women as the discoverers of the empty tomb. More fundamentally, as, as the right Reverend Bishop Shelby, Shelby Spong says, quote, the discovery of an empty tomb would never have issued in an Easter faith. If there had been a tomb, and if the tomb had been found empty, it would have meant only that one more insult had been delivered to the leader of the tiny Jesus movement. The disciples, whoever they were, would not have concluded that, would have concluded that even the dead body of this Jesus had not been spared degradation. No Easter faith would have resulted from an empty tomb. Therefore, such a tradition cannot have been primary. It was but a story incorporated later into the narrative. Well, now, what about the empty tomb? Here, Dr. Parsons says, it's not surprising the empty tomb would be discovered, uh, or, or the narrative would have women discovered the empty tomb. I simply disagree. The reason this is remarkable is because the testimony of women was thoroughly unreliable on that day. They didn't wash and dispose the body of Jesus. This was done by Joseph of Arimathea. So you have to account, why would they have a narrative of unreliable testimony rather than male disciples? testifying to this. If this were a late legendary account, you can be sure it would have been male disciples who were made to discover the empty tomb. And thus Jakob Kramer, writing in 1993, says that most exegetes ascribe to the tomb narratives a historical core, however this is to be more precisely determined. Raymond Schwager in 1993 says, in contrast to the legend hypothesis, it has recently become usual to assess positively the behavior of the women uh, with respect to Jesus' death and on Easter morning. So I think this is a good reason to accept the empty tomb as most uh, New Testament scholars do.